So today I'm gonna to talk about concealers and I'm gonna talk about concealers for every skin type. Yes, your skin type. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So today I'm gonna to talk about concealers for seven different skin types. The concealers that I have, I've used, and I will leave videos down below if you just kinda of wanna check out the concealer, how it applied, additional thoughts that I might have. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be talking about using these concealers uh, for any under eye issues that you might have. Whether your skin type is mature, whether you have dry under eyes, normal, oily, sensitive, acne prone, or discoloration or puffiness. Now mind you, a lot of these concealers that I'm gonna talk about could be used interchangeably, but I'm just gonna talk about who I think that these would be best suited for. So let's go ahead and get into the first set. All right, so for mature under eyes, I wanna talk about two, and the first one is this Lancome concealer. This one is good for fine lines and wrinkles. It does have really good coverage, and you can layer this particular concealer under your eyes without it looking cakey. Um, it plays really well with lots of different powders that are out there. I really do like the fact that it comes in a lot of shades. I even like the doe foot. It's got that uh, big doe foot that's really popular and that most people like. And as far as it just kind of helping with the fine lines and wrinkles, you can see it upon application and you don't need a lot of it. Some concealers, you kind of need a lot of it, but this one, you only need a little bit because in this situation, a little bit goes a long way. But this one would be one to just kind to consider if you have mature under eyes. The next one that I want to talk about for mature skin is this concealer by Neutrogena. This is the Radiant Cream Concealer. Now I really do love this concealer. I think it would work really well for mature under eyes. It does have peptides in it. I also feel that the coverage is surprisingly, you know, good. I don't. I would say for drugstore, but there's a lot of drugstore concealers out there that have excellent coverage. I do like the fact that you can layer this concealer without it looking overly cakey. I do feel as though the coverage is good. It's just not full coverage like the one from Lancome. So this one would be good to consider, especially because it's affordable and it's drugstore and it's got lots of ingredients in it. So if this is your cup of tea, definitely check this one out. So the next one that I want to talk about is for oily skin and that would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. So the reason that I'm placing that under this category is because for me, I just found this one to be a bit mattifying for my taste. Um, that's not to say that it's a bad thing. That's just to say that it's probably not best suited for my under eye skin type. It does have really good coverage. I think it plays well with other powders and things like that. Um, also, this one is kind of a little bit borderline um, on the heavy side. Is that a bad thing? No, it just depends on your skin type. So if you have oily skin and you're looking for a concealer that's gonna do a good job of mattifying your under eye without having you looking cakey, I would definitely say to check this one out. All right, so the next skin type I wanna talk about is for sensitive skin. And I do have one, this is by Alme. This is their Skin Protecting Comfort Concealer. And the reason that I'm placing it under sensitive skin is because this one is hyperallergenic, it's non-comedogenic, it's allergy, uh, it's dermatology tested. Now this is a stick and I find that it's very emollient. Um, as far as building it up to full coverage, you're not gonna get that. It doesn't give you a cakey look and it really plays well with different kinds of powders and things like that. So if you have sensitive skin, you might wanna check this one out. All right, so next I wanna talk about concealers that are good for discoloration, and puffiness and I do have three I'm gonna quickly go over them the first one that I want to talk about and if you're familiar with my channel you've heard me talk about this concealer several times this is the one by Kosas so this one has caffeine in it it has algae extract and we know that those type of ingredients are going to help with puffiness and trust me I know because if you've seen any of my videos you know that I have puffy eyes probably every video that you've ever seen me with but this one does a really good job of helping with that it also has arnica in it as well as panthenol and and that's just used as a calming tool to address any type of redness. This one is very emollient. Um, it provides really good coverage and it also does a good job of blurring any lines that you have, um, especially once you add on your powder. This one is one of my all time favorite concealers. I will buy this one over and over and over again. All right, so another one that's good for puffiness and discoloration is this Bounce Concealer by Beauty Blender. This one's really good because it's got tetrapeptides in it. It's also got hyaluronic 
hyaluronic acid uh, which is really good um, that's like a skincare favorite among so many people but this one it provides good coverage plus it's going to help you with any type of puffiness that you might have this one you kind of got to be careful with as far as how thick it is you really don't need a lot so if you're going to get this one just be careful with it only use a little because that's all you need you only need a little bit of it but i like this one it's always worked well for me and the last one that i have is going to help with puffiness or any type of discoloration would be this concealer by clinique this is the even better concealer this one has caffeine in it as well it also has vitamin c now with this one it is buildable and in order for you to completely cover up any dark spots you are going to need it but you are going to need to layer it but even once you layer it it's still not going to give you a cakey under eye look some concealers out there once you start layering and then after you set it with a powder you know it, it starts looking strange <laughs> but not this one it's got lots of good ingredients but excellent for um, any type of puffiness and discoloration that you might have all right, and so the next one I'll talk about is for acne prone skin. I do have a concealer by Sephora and this one has salicylic acid in it. So, you know, even though most people don't get acne right up under their eyes, um, if you do want to use it, you know, anywhere on your face and you have issues with acne, this would be a really good one. It's not really full coverage, but it can be layered. And to me, it's just a really good concealer if acne is your issue. So yeah, if that's the case with you, definitely check this one out. The next skin type I want to talk about is normal and I have a set of concealers here that you know overall don't necessarily have some type of magical ingredient that's going to help you but I do feel if you have normal skin um, these would work really well um, especially if you're looking for something that's full coverage so the first one is this Pat McGrath concealer I like it because it's full coverage does a really good job of blurring any type of issues that you might have and I also particularly like the undertones of her concealers they're pretty much you unique across the concealer board so to speak and if I'm not mistaken this is a concealer that's pretty much a favorite among a lot of youtubers out there but if you haven't tried it and you're looking for a luxury skincare I would say to definitely check this one out the next one that I want to talk about is by Juvia's Place and I'm sure a lot of you all are familiar with this one this one doesn't have any special ingredients in it uh, but it is full full coverage and there's no need to layer this there's no need to use a lot because a little goes a long way this one would be excellent for you if you just have normal skin and you don't need any magical type of concealer out there plus you're looking for something full coverage I would say to check this one out and the last one that I want to talk about is by Beauty Bakery this is another one that has really good full coverage it has some unique undertones as well you can layer this particular concealer without it looking cakey however I feel I've never had the need to layer it and it also plays well with lots of different powders out there so Got normal skin, this would be a good one. And then for dry skin, I have the Tarte Ultra, Ultra Creamy Concealer. Um, I'm sure all of you all are familiar with the normal matte concealer that Tarte has. And when this came out, I had to try it out to see what it was all about because it claimed to have some type of 24 hour moisturizing ingredient. It's some type of special ingredient that Tarte has with their line, but this one is super hydrating. It also has a really good coverage. And this is another one a little bit goes along way you don't need to add a lot of it but excellent 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 for dry under eyes so that's pretty much it short and sweet those are my recommendations for the different skin types that are out there let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these if so let me know how it works